Hello everybody, this is going to be your spring 2024 course navigation video. Now a lot of this you will have seen in your welcome video, but this video is specifically dedicated for course navigation. I'm going to point out a few more things, um, so please keep watching because it's very important that you know how to navigate our course. Okay, so I am using my honors chemistry course for semester two, um, just because this is the one I have the most work done in now, but everything will be done by the time that um, we start the new quarter on the 26th. Okay, so when you open up your Canvas course, so whether you're in Honors Chemistry, Chemistry, or Physical Science, you will of course see my information. So the picture of me and then my contact information. Here's my email my Google voice number, um, and then the link to our Teams meetings that we have on Thursdays at 1040 for chemistry. And then physical science, I have y'all's homepage done as well. Um, and then of course, physical science are going to be Thursdays at 1235. Okay, so chemistry, we meet only Thursdays at 1040 a.m. If you are in physical science, we meet on Thursdays at 1235 p.m. Okay, so chemistry's third block, physical science is fourth. Okay, and then of course physical science kiddos, your link will take you to your um, team's meeting as well. Okay, so that is really the only thing that's different in your courses is going to be the home page will have the correct um, time for your meetings and then of course your lessons will look a little bit different with the content but in terms of the way that your courses are set up they are exactly the same. So this information is for anyone that is in honors chemistry, chemistry or physical science. Okay. All right. So a few things I want to point out just on your home page before we jump into looking at your lesson pages um, is that you will have in your to-do list on the right hand side of Canvas. When you pull it up, you will see all of the assignments that are due for the day. Okay. Please, please, if you don't take anything else away from this video, understand that you should not be relying on your to-do list, okay? Because the to-do list only has assignments in it. It only has like, it will only have the warm-ups, exit tickets, and then your graded classwork. It will not have your notes, and it will not have any important information that might be in your lesson page, okay? So you need to be pulling up your lesson pages every single day. You should not be pulling stuff from the to-do list. You can use your to-do list to help you, you know, determine what is being graded for the day to help you see what you should be turning in, but you should not be doing your lessons from your to-do list because you will be missing very important information. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, when you are ready to start class, so when you're ready to get started on your science coursework for the day, you are going to click the blue button that says click here to start class. And it is going to take you to your modules. Okay. Everyone's first module that they will see is called Virtual Class Materials. If you open it up, it's going to have a link to important course information. So I'll just open it for us here just to see. And so you'll see your syllabus. This video will be linked there. Grading policy, required materials, expectations, and then also keeping your science notebook. So this will not be important until really we get started with our content probably closer to the end of the first week. Um, but this is something you can refer back to as you go out throughout the course in case you need it. Okay, so you've got your important course information, some um, other links that you can use throughout the course. Um, there's nothing for you to do here. These are all links for you just to give you some additional information and that stay there for you for the entire semester. Okay, below that is where your units will start. Okay, so every unit will be its own module and every lesson gets its own page. Okay, so each lesson is labeled. So you'll have the text headers that will tell you the week that we're in. So like for example, I've got the first day of class and then I'm calling the first full week, quarter three, week one. Okay, so let's say it's Friday, January 26, you're ready to start your science classwork. You have opened your modules. You are going to click on the lesson page. Okay, so you will click the correct day. It will tell you the unit. So like this is unit zero. This is lesson one. So that's the first lesson in unit zero. And then the title of today's lesson is getting to know you. Okay, because it's the first day of class. We're going to have a modified schedule. You guys don't have to do much today other than just 
very basic intro stuff. Okay. When you open your lesson page, you will see again all that information on the top. And then you'll see some more information just like what our goals are for the day. So what should you be able to do by the end of the lesson? And then when we get into content, you'll see the state standards. You guys don't care about that. It's just something that we have to do to demonstrate that we are teaching you what we're supposed to be teaching you. Okay. Now your job is to come down here and complete your daily lesson. Okay. So you always start at the top with the warm up, and then you go through the exit. Now because this particular day is a intro day there are no notes so there's not going to be an explain category but as we start taking your notes you will start to see your notes here this is why it's so important for you to pull up your lesson page from your modules instead of pulling up assignments from the to-do list okay because if you are pulling up stuff from your to-do list you will not get your notes the notes are not going to be assignments that you turn in until the end of the unit so you're going to be trying to do assignments without getting the content that you need to actually do your notes. Okay, so you have to open your lesson page from your modules. Now I have everything linked for you. So I have the directions on what you should do. So like, for example, this is day one. It says if you haven't, go ahead, watch your welcome video. You're going to do an icebreaker, which is just a discussion post. You can right click it, open it in a new tab. When it's complete and you've submitted it, you can exit out of it, come back and you can open your next task, complete it, and then come back. Everything will always be linked for you in your lesson page. Um, I do try to bold the 100 point assignment. So like for today, you have a couple things to do, but this get to know me, it's worth 100 points. Okay, so that is your most heavily graded assignment. That is what you would need to complete in order to be more present. Okay, so I know the first couple of days of getting into a new quarter can be a little bit hectic. There's a lot of, you know, just leeway with that. But once we get going and everybody's settled, everybody's where they're supposed to be, every single day you need to be completing your 100-point assignment in your evaluate portion in order to be marked present for the day. Okay? And then you'll be able to navigate. That's not done yet. Um, but you'll be able to navigate through your lessons. So like if you're sick for some reason and you miss something, like you just will go back to the lesson the day you're sick, work on it, get caught up, and keep it moving. Okay? So that's pretty much it. Like that's the whole course navigation, right? You open your modules, you open the correct date, you complete the lesson. Okay, it's, it's pretty easy. However, if you get behind, it can get a little bit overwhelming. And I do have students ask me, oh, you know, Mrs. Cohn, what am I missing? If you get to that point where you really are, you know, trying to figure out what you can do to figure out what your, your missing grades are, all you have to do is come to your navigation bar over here, and then you will click on grades. Okay, now I'm going to pop into my current class right now, so my fall class, so I can show you what it looks like in student view. Um, and then it will show you um, your grades. So this is what it would look like. Of course, this is towards the end of the course right now. But if you click on your grades tab, it will pull up all of the assignments. It will show you what you are missing and it'll show you your grade. Okay, if you're missing something, it will be flagged, right? And so again, pay attention to what I mean by 100 point assignments because students will get behind and they'll try to come and do like exit tickets, warm ups, trying to improve their grade and it doesn't move the needle because they're worth fewer points, okay? Those are really practice questions that help prepare us for our test. What you want to be focused on are these assignments that are worth 100 points, okay? You need to be trying to do everything every single day. It's not me saying that warm-up and exit tickets are not important because they are, because they help prepare you for your test. They help me assess whether or not you have learned the lesson. But if you are in a pinch and you're trying to prioritize, it's always going to be these assignments that are worth 100 points that you want to make sure that you're doing. Okay, and again, you are pulling up your um, daily lessons from your modules. Do not rely on that to-do list, okay, because you will miss some vital information. So that is it. That is the biggest thing about the course navigation. Make sure on Thursday when we are getting ready for our first um, Teams meeting, the link is on our homepage. So you will click it. I'm sure I'll make an announcement 
with the, the link as well. Um, but everything you need is really in two clicks, right? You click into your home page, you have all my contact information, you click into your modules. Oops, I am in student view, which is why I did that. Um, you click into your modules and you have your lesson pages labeled for you and ready to go. You just have to click into them um, to complete your lesson. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you don't, um, I will see you guys as you get started with work.